G'day viewers, welcome back to our channel. It's good to be back. We're back. We've missed you. <laughs> uh, we went on a bit of a uh, long winter break. We went into hibernation. Uh, not too much was happening with our lawn, so we didn't film too much. We have been busy in the shed working on our two restos, my sure. 17 solid. <laughs> They're getting there. Get in there. My 17 solid, James's unicorn. We have, uh, we'll be filming some videos, uh, some updates about those uh, coming out in the future. But today, it's early spring. The first thing that we are going to be doing is the first cylinder mow on James's front lawn, his kaiku, uh, since what? End of that last autumn. season. Autumn. Since yeah, autumn. I've really mowed it since autumn. So it's been mowed with uh, Rory Mow probably three times over winter. So today we're going to get the cylinder mower back out. And what else are we going to be doing? Uh, we're going to start prepping for our Renault season. So the first thing that we are going to be doing is putting down some acelaprin. We're going to be putting down barricade as well. We're going to be talking about what barricade is um, and why we're using that. And some soil water as well. Uh, all, more information about those while we're doing it. Uh, but first let's get into some mowing. Okay, check out the, the hoodie, mate. Before we get into the mow, let's show you a bit of an update how the lawn actually coped during winter. So, it's not 100% accurate because we actually have been trying some products um, on this lawn um, the last week. Hashtag so, confidential. Confidential. <laughs> so, um, we have seen a bit of a, um, a green up and some growth. So, it's actually look, looking too bad. This part here, if you can see, is uh, most affected by the uh, winter dormancy, which has seen a bit of a green up. You can see all that new green growth coming up. Um, and it's definitely getting some color back into it, which is good, um, but it really is in need of a good mode. Um, this is the worst part of the lawn. Um, you can see these trees here, they sort of block out all that sun um, during winter because the sun's so low. Um, so it doesn't really get much sunny, but if you look over that area, that's the area that's pretty much not gone dormant really over winter. So it's got really good color. Um, yeah, just really in need of a, a reno because it's getting really thick and thatchy. But um, like you can see, these area over here, it's got great colour. Like that's that's pretty much the colour you see during during uh, summer, and that's had no product supplied except for this one product that we trialled on Monday. Um, and it's today, it's Friday, so and it's really seen a good green up. So desperately in need of a mow, of course. It's really thick and thatchy, but um, it's looking pretty good. It's coped pretty well during winter. This spot, anyway. That's the worst affected spot, but um, it's really starting to come back to life now. So we're just time to start getting into putting those products down, preparing it for, for the reno, and, um, and start enjoying rolling the lawn again. So let's get into a mode. Alright guys, so first cut done off the cylinder mower. Looking pretty good. Scotty. Lines are a bit off, but you know, haven't used it for like three months, so forgive me. Not bad. Much neater looking, that's for sure.
Old mate giving it a blow. It's flat. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking pretty good. Not bad. I tell you, I've been cutting at the rotary, but there's just something about cutting with a seal in the mail. You just, you just don't get that from a rotary. And it's only one pass too, like double cut would have been ideal, but we're running out of light over here. So we need to get this uh, application down. But yeah. So it's looking pretty good. I'm excited. I'm excited for the season here. Oh, yeah, but can you beat a Pepsi Max? <laughs> I don't know, mate. Maybe like a Pepsi Max you vanilla. Like you don't like it? No, that's oh, come on, mate. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's actually, like, for, for one pass, you can still see the stripes. It's got, to, it's got to burn them in now. They're there. Baby stripes. Anyway, we better get on with uh, getting this application down. Probably yep. the let's, uh, let's get into applying the products and we'll take you through it. Alright guys, so on to the next part, we're running out of daylight here, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to chuck down some acelaprin first. So from Syngenta, acelaprin GR, this stuff is to prevent African black beetle, what's some of the things that prevent? African black beetle, which is the main thing that causes issue in our lawns. Um, there's a couple other things that it, it obviously prevents as well. Um, but what you want to really stop is you want to stop that larvae from chewing on your roots. In your, in, your, in your turf, and that's what's gonna kill it pretty much. So this is what this prevents. So applying this now in, say, Victoria, South Australia, Lower New South Wales is, is probably ideal, Tasmania. Um, if you're in Queensland, you probably should have put this down probably two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So, but uh, we're in Victoria now, so we're the first week of September, going to the second week, so it's ideal time to put this down. Um, so that's what we're gonna be putting down first. So some of this, um, the rate is 1.5 kilos per 100 square meters. We've got 80 square meters in this front lawn here. So we're gonna be putting down 1.2 kilos. We're gonna apply that um, with our spreader um, and try to get it as accurate as possible in terms of spreading it on, this, on the actual turf. Um, then we're gonna follow it up with um, some barricade, which is a uh, pre-emergent herbicide. So that's gonna stop the summer grasses from, from uh, popping up. Um, this, that's probably one of the best things, you, these two things are one of the best two things you can, can do to your lawn because it's half the job done. You know, you're not gonna have weeds and you're not gonna have grubs eating your lawn, killing it. So we put down the, you know, these two things, a bit of an investment, but it's worth it if you wanna have a good lawn. So barricade with some of that Hydrolink Advance, um, which you can buy from Lawn Addicts. Um, they are obviously a supplier of that product. Um, that, those two products together, the soil wet is gonna help it um, get deep into that soil. Um, and create a really good even layer of um, protection against uh, obviously your weeds germinating. So these two products are very important. Get them down now. It's an ideal time. Get them down now um, and you're going to have six months protection across both these products. So that's going to do you to autumn. Then get a deck down in autumn again and that's going to protect you through the winter. So you've got full protection all year round. Um, wise investment guys. So let's get into it. We'll get this down first then we'll jump into that. Let's go. So we've got a tip. Get yourself a nice kitchen scale, steal it off your wife uh, from exactly, the kitchen. Exactly what I've done. She never got it back. <laughs> they won't know. Uh, and then just chuck there. everything that you need. We're halfway there. That's probably the smarter thing to do. It's always better to put the granular stuff down first before yeah. going over and putting the liquid. Because then you're walking and treading on it. And yeah. You don't want to be carrying that stuff around. The backyard and you know your dogs and your kids licking it. Not they should be licking the concrete anyway, but you know. No. You never know. Might have some weird kids. Don't sniff it because last time we got in trouble. <laughs> Someone told us off last time. <laughs> even though we didn't actually sniff it, but that's right. 
Uh, so this is 30 uh, mils per uh, 100 square meters. James has 80 square meters. Right, so the max is 24. 24, 25 mil. It's not gonna hurt, hurt it if you put a little extra in. Nah. Again, another little tip. We share this bottle. Especially like the consistency of paint. This bottle is about 200, 220? Yeah, it's a bit of money, but something, something like that. There. There's no better product in the market. Um, so again, if you have a a brother or a best friend that's your neighbour or blah blah blah, whoever, your best mate's dog, go Harvey's if you can. Alright, uh, so what else are we putting down, mate? Hydrolink. Advanced. Why we get, we're gonna this is our soil. What we already explained it, mate. Yeah. I know. Do you not remember? 200 mil per 100 square meters. So. 0 0.8 times 200. So 160 mil we're gonna put the end today. Give it a good shake up because we haven't used this in a while. I'm gonna do a good old shake, aren't I? That's what your wife says. <laughs> I love this stuff because it smells like apples. I can smell it from here. It's good. Do you reckon it smells like apples? Yeah, it smells good, whatever it is. I smell apples. The paint doesn't smell so good. No, don't smell that. Sorry, Yoc. <laughs> right, pull that in. So, we want to water this in straight away because if we weren't putting down the barricade, if we're putting the barricade by itself, we wouldn't need to water it in straight away. We could leave it on the leaf for five, I think four or five days or so-ish. Check the bottle, obviously. Don't Wait for your next rain type of thing. That's it, yeah. But it's always best to water it in because you're controlling the amount of water you're putting down. You know it's going to be 100%. If you wait for a damp or rain, you're potentially going to wash it all out. So, good idea to water it straight in. We must water this in straight away because we are putting down this with the soil wetter. If we leave a soil wetter on the turf, we are going to burn it. So, must water it in straight away. Got another tip about barricade that we didn't mention before. So, if you are plugging your lawn or uh, laying new turf, uh, don't use barricade. Uh, it's pretty much going to act the same as what it's going to do with um, weeds and their root growth. Is it's going to inhibit that. So it's going to stop the um, grass roots from growing. And obviously, if you're, for example, if you're plugging um, a whole bunch of spots in your uh, yard, they're not going to grow because they're not going to be going. The roots aren't going to be growing and developing deeper into the soil because obviously the barricade is going to prevent that. Um, so only be using barricade if you have a full lawn um, like we do. Um, otherwise, yeah, you're a bit out of luck for that. So again, only use it if you've got a full lawn, not if you're plugging, not if you are putting down a new lawn as well. I think it's something like you got to wait for, I think Yoc was telling me about three months or something after I put down my lawn, um, just because you want your roots to establish down deep enough um, past the barrier that Barricade is working at. Uh, we get a lot of questions about this Sylvan sprayer. Uh, if it's good and whatever, just our opinion. You keep going, sorry. Uh, we both obviously use it. We have no problems with it except for this one slight gripe. They and all do that. It's probably the same, yeah. I haven't used any of the solo ones or anything, but when you get to that last liter ish. Oh, much left yeah, probably like a liter. Okay. Um, You've just got to wear it like a cool kid on one shoulder uh, just so you can reach that plug so it, you get that suction. James is wearing it on both shoulders like he should be. You're not going to get any of the product sucking through and it just doesn't work. So you've got to tilt it um, just so we can get through to the pump. But that's our only slight gripe and again, otherwise it's a really great sprayer. Good money for what? Hundred bucks? Hundred and some? I can't remember. Two hundred? One hundred? 
think it's like 180? One, something like that. Um, but that's the only problem that we have. But again, that's livable, we can do that. All right, now that all that stuff is done in the front yard, I thought we'd come back into uh, Lawn Lads HQ, James's shed, and show you what we've been working on, just give you a very brief update um, just on how our two restos are going. So here is, it's, this is my catcher, but this is like our first finished product of something that's been painted. Uh, so the color is uh, Waddle Silver Green. Just let that focus. Thank you for my painter for supplying that. <laughs> Free. <laughs> uh, so that, like I said, that's the first thing that's finished painting. Uh, looks really good. I was, well, I was sort of worried about the color choice, but looks really good. Really uh, happy with it. Yeah. It looks, it, yeah, it looks a bit darker uh, in real life. Um, so and a bit more green than it does silver. So I'm going with, oh, I think you're going with black stickers as well. Yeah, we're both going black stickers. Yeah, both going black stickers. Um, so that, again, that's the color of choice. Um, most things, don't worry about James's catcher over there was fixing that, anyway. <laughs> um, everything's primed. Got the couch, this is. Oh yeah, show them the spray booth, because like this is, I don't This, is, this is our um, DIY spray booth. King's Gazebo. King's Gazebo. 3x3. Three three. Um, all these plastic sheet tarp, whatever you want to oh, call them. Chuck our lights on too. Oh yeah, we got a couple of lights, so we'll come in here. A couple of lights, well, that's very bright, very nice. Um, and we got this uh, stool thing, scaffold stool, whatever you want to call it, with the Kmart air clothes dryer just wide everything up um, so that's like my stuff James has started to paint some of his stuff over here with some first coats um, we've got our brand new clutches as well we both got the same clutch we decided to go painted not silver yeah we didn't want it yeah sneak peek so everything's getting painted tomorrow so the painting will be done tomorrow yeah um, which is good, and then it's pretty much a bit of water. <laughs> Don't kill yourself. <laughs> uh, then it's pretty much just reassembly time. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll have some videos of chucking everything back together, and then by post reno season time, moles are done. Everything's hey, ready we'll, to be we'll, cut. We'll be back together. I reckon three weeks, three four yeah. weeks. We'll have yeah. it all back together. So hopefully, yeah, done with the reno, then it's all good to start cutting. Yeah. Not gonna use it after reno. No. Nah. Nice sharp blade. Nah. And we'll do a nice reveal because they're gonna look pretty much identical. James is going with some slightly different things that I am, but we'll yeah. say that we won't explain that and yeah. we'll show you when it's happening. But we want to keep that original vibe, I think. That's yeah. the main thing. We want to keep it looking like a Scotty, but it modernize it. So that's the main thing. But we're not gonna spoil anything, you can see it all when we bring it to you on the YouTubes. So Yeah, so coming weeks, that's what's gonna be happening. We're gonna be doing more lawn stuff, more resto stuff. Uh, so Make sure you're subscribed to keep up to date, watch all that sort of stuff. Uh, links in the description for all our social medias, get onto those. Yep. Other than that, cheers for watching. Cheers lads, we'll be with you soon.